he got caged. That's it. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, I'm so pretty. And I'm taking you down, I'm taking you down, I'm taking you out, I'm taking you out, and I'm taking you out for dinner. <laughs> Ugh. No. Alright, welcome ladies and gentlemen to my review of Mortal Kombat 9 for the Xbox 360. Alright, so, Mortal Kombat 9, um, came out, like, a week ago? Yeah, I think it was about a week ago, um, yeah, so I was one of the lucky people to get it first from Gamefly, um, it was at the top of my list for, I don't know, like a month maybe? But, so yeah, I finally get the game, uh, I've been playing it, I mean, I had to wait a little bit to play it because I was still working on more, uh, Dragon Age, but, finally got to it a couple days ago, and, uh, I played it for a few days, um, I beat the entire story mode, which is awesome, uh, I played over a hundred online matches, and I didn't, I didn't get an exact hour count, but I played quite a bit of it, um, so yeah, I'll start with my likes, I guess, um, uh, I guess the biggest like I have for it is there is a lot of replayability, um, like, let me start with the story mode. The story mode itself is, like, it's going to take you anywhere from 6 to 10 hours, probably, depending on how many times you die and how fast you defeat opponents. Um, the way the story mode setup is actually really cool. Um, you'll, you'll start off with, like, a Chapter 1, all right? And uh, Chapter 1 is basically Johnny Cage, and it explains, like, why, uh, like why Raiden is having all these visions and why um, pretty much... Eh, they're just in a tournament, and, uh, like, if you don't win, then your your realm is gonna get destroyed. So, obviously, some of the characters don't understand that, and they just, they're there for their own reasons and stuff, but... Each chapter plays, like, you, you're one character, you run into a bunch of other characters, a bunch of story stuff happens, um, and then usually at the end of that act, you're passed over to the next character that you met recently. So, like, uh, at the end of Act 1... Uh, Johnny Cage meets Sonya. Then you play as Sonya for the next bunch of chapters until you meet, uh, someone else. I forgot who. But, I thought it was a really good way of, like, storytelling, and, um, the story itself was, it was pretty cool. Um, it wasn't anything, like, super cool or anything, but it was pretty cool. So, yeah, I think the way they did story mode was probably the best way I've seen it in, uh, like, a fighting game. It actually felt like a real game. The one thing about story mode though is you cannot skip cutscenes. You actually have to watch every cutscene and there are a couple 5 to 10 minute long cutscenes so be prepared for that. Um, Alright so that's story mode. I didn't really have any complaints with it. It was all pretty good. Alright so next we have a... Uh, I guess we'll hit up um, arcade mode. Yeah arcade mode's pretty good. Uh, so arcade mode allows you to play as every character. Um, each character has two outfits except for Melina has three for some reason, but yeah, everybody has their new costume and their classic costume. There's ten floors, I believe. Uh, so you basically you fight um, like I think seven original characters, like random order, and then you fight like Shang Tsung, then you fight Goro, then you fight um, Shao Kahn. But then you have a tag tournament, which is it's still ten floors, but you have a partner with you. And the, your enemy has two people, so you can basically do tag combos. You can switch out. You have two health bars and everything, so it's it's interesting. But I wasn't really fond of it, I guess. So arcade mode, it's arcade mode. There isn't really much to explain about it. Um, you get coins for winning and killing and stuff. So that's arcade mode. Uh, next up, we have the mission tower. Um, mission tower is pretty awesome. There's 300 floors you go up, and uh, each floor is different for the most part. There were a couple repeats, like um, there's this one tower where you're Johnny Cage and Striker, and uh, you basically you have to do your uh, fireballs, like your projectile attacks, so you can kill the zombies that are coming at you. So like for Johnny Cage, you do quarter circle forward Y, shoots a fireball. Um, you have five like f five shots, and then you have to switch over to your next character. And it's small mini games like that. Um, there there's mini games, and then there's like these test year challenges where like 
button mash to like rise this meter, then hit your button to like break a board of wood or something. There's those, um, and then there's normal battles with restrictions like uh, there's one where you're fighting without your head. There's one where you're fighting without your arms. There's one where you're uh, actually throwing your body parts at the enemy. That one's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, tower's really, really awesome. A lot of interesting things in there. Um, I didn't really have any complaints with it. 300 floors is a little long, but I mean that's for the hardcore completionists. Uh, I think that's about it. There's online mode, which um, not really much to say about that. You have like your standard rank player matches. Um, then you have this King of the Hill match, which was pretty interesting. Um, pretty much in your lobby, you have what looks like a theater. Like you have like the curtains on next to it, and you have like chairs over there and stuff. And basically, when people come into this match, they're actually watching your match like they're in a theater. Like if you've ever played uh, Netflix and on Xbox Live, uh, it's it's very similar to that. Um, at the end of the match, you can vote for like which player did the best and stuff like that, and that'll give you more points. Um, it's a pretty awesome spectator mode. It's a shame Marvel didn't have anything like that, but it's it's a great addition to online. Um, my only complaint with online is that it is pretty laggy online. It's not quite as bad as Marvel, but there is some delay. Um, it was less noticeable when I was playing in a private match with my friend, though. So I'm not sure if that's just like a ranked match thing or what, but uh, private match was less leggy by far. So all in all, I'll tell you it was a pretty well-made fighting game. Um, I wouldn't buy it. I'd wait till it drops down to like thirty dollars maybe, or just run it like I did. So that's all I have to say about this game. Um, yeah.